Greetings, good people. Greetings. All right. It is Friday, September 15, 2023, and we are back again with more Tory Lane's news. All right. So if you didn't get the opportunity to watch my video that I uploaded yesterday on Thursday, September 14th, please do so. Okay. Details that Tory Lane's was denied bond um, in the case that he was convicted of. He was found guilty and he was sentenced to 10 years. Well, he wanted to be out on bond while he fights his appeal or while his appeal is pending. All right. That was that was yesterday. I did touch on this a little bit, but it is coming out that Tory Lanez done insulted one of the damn court reporters. All right. Now, if you guys are not aware of who Megan Cuniff is, she is a legal journalist. She's an independent legal journalist and she covers court cases. Right. And she has been covering the Tory Lanez case. She was present every day at his trial and his hearings. And she basically gives her account of what has taken place in the courtroom. She provides documentation that has become available to the public she's also got her hands on some exclusive documents that she probably paid for yada 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 okay a lot of people don't like her all right and it's fine it is what it is her job is not to be liked in my opinion her job is to report the story well she has now become the story unfortunately and she has been she is being dragged okay and <laughs> tory lanes allegedly insulted her after he walked out of the courtroom yesterday when the judge denied his bond bail request okay so the internet has gotten a hold of this information this is megan cuniff's um twitter page that's what she looks like okay and she has a website and i'm going to be reading the article from her website so let's dig into this all right Tory Lanez insults reporter in final courtroom appearance for the Megan Thee Stallion situation. We'll just leave it at that. So let's start at this point at the article because I've already talked about some of this stuff in the previous video. All right, so this is Megan Cuniff who wrote this article. This is her account. So she writes, Lanez used his final courtroom moments to speak with his supporters and profanely insult me. I couldn't hear him, but several people in the courtroom, including sheriffs, deputies, heard him say, quote, googly eyed B, end quote. And he looked at me in the gallery. Uh, Elaine's loyal loyalists also reported the insult on social media shortly after the hearing, writing, hashtag Tory Lanez looked at Megan Cuniff and called her a googly eyed B with a smile on his face and walked out of court. This is the stuff that irritates me about Tory Lanez. Please be advised. I am not taking anybody's side. I'm rooting for both of these individuals, Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion, who are victims of the entertainment industry. I have been saying that since this incident happened back in 2020. So if you're looking for me to bash Tory and uphold Meg or, or bash Meg and uphold Tory, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm here to give my commentary on this, okay? This whole situation and this situation in particular. Tori is frustrating me because I said before, and I posted this on Twitter numerous times. Now, I have been covering, I've been paying attention to this case piece by piece, inch by inch, but I don't report on it, okay? I didn't cover everything. I talked about it when this situation first happened, and I just let things play out. He's frustrating me because it's like, there's still antics going on. It's like, bro, you don't have anybody around you to kind of like keep it real with you and tell you, listen, man, this ain't it. You know, I, I, I don't feel that he does. I don't feel he has any solid people in his corner. That's just my opinion. He very well could have solid people in his corner, but he just wants to do whatever he wants to do. Um, I said this before too, I don't think he has solid people in his corner when he showed up to Rolling Loud in Miami when he knew he had a restraining order that was set in place and was very clear and concise. He knows what a restraining order is. You popped out on the stage, the baby brought you out, you weren't supposed to be there. For those of you who are unaware, he was actually scheduled for the day before so that he and Megan would not be there on the same day. He showed up, he did his thing the day before, and then he came back the day after, the same day that Megan was there, all right? These are facts. And the baby brought him out. You did that 
and then you messed yourself up. You violated the restraining order. And then it just started to get, it just, it just got worse from there. You know, things on social media were posted. People who were associated with Tory Lane started calling Megan names and, and everybody got hype. You know what I mean? And um, it just created a divide and a separation. And here we are after you have been sentenced, you know, the still the antics are still present. It's like, bro, you have a son, you know, it's already bad enough that your son is going to be without his father for some time. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. I just, I guess he's just going to do whatever he wants to do. It's your choice. It is what it is. So the article goes on to read, it was a fitting way to end a criminal case. So rife, rife or ripe? Maybe she meant to write ripe here. So rife with vitriol that Judge Hereford cited it when sentencing Lanes to 10 years in prison last month for the Megan Thee Stallion situation. All right. Um, uh, so let's get past this. Hereford said that Lanes' post shooting conduct, which included social media posts and song lyrics about Megan, was a major factor in aggravation in the case. See what I'm saying? Like you was. You put stuff in your songs and yeah, you got media attention, but at what cost? This is, this is the point that I was trying to make for me. It's not about choosing sides and bashing one person or the other. It's, it's about bro, you in some serious, this is a serious situation prior to the trial, even starting, you were cutting up and you, you even stated yourself, Tory Lanez, I'm starting not to give a F. And you posted that on social media. So it's like when you didn't have any of that remorse, right? Why you expect this judge that you and your legal team tried to get kicked off of the case? You didn't want this. You, you, you said that he was being biased. This is the same judge that sentenced you. You wanted this judge to have some sort of leniency or have mercy on you. It's like, who the heck does this guy have around him? Even his lawyer, Jose Baez, I thought Baez was the one that was supposed to be writing up the appeal and, and, and going through the, the appellate courts for Tory. Nope. He got some two new folks. It's a shame. The judge at the time cited remarks from Los Angeles County Deputy District uh, Attorney Alexander Bott, who said that Lanes engaged in a public disinformation campaign against the victim. All right. These are some of what uh, what Bott said. You know, he basically talked about how he didn't show any, he didn't show any remorse. He wasn't accountable. Uh, he engaged in public disinformation campaign against the victim. He got over 12 million followers on social media. He painted Megan out to be a liar. He questioned that she was even popped, questioned that she was even popped. And this had the effect of, uh, whipping up his legion of fans into a fury against Megan that caused her untold harm on a daily basis. So yes, that is true. There were there are there's still people on social media that are, you know, disparaging Megan the Stallion and saying some wild things and people with major, major platforms, you know, buddies of of Tory Lane's, you know, one of his homies, his homeboys, he went on a, a whole tirade. You know, he has a massive following. He has over millions of subscribers and supporters, right? And it just it just got ugly. It's like, bro, you should have just laid low. I, just make your music and lay low. Don't do any interviews, nothing. That's why I'm wondering who was around you. Anyway, uh, Lanes maintains his innocence and his motion for bail reiterated um, that while promising Lanes, if released, will, quote, have no contact with the victim, nor shall he or any of his associates by his direction address her on social media or by any other means. All right. Now, this motion was filed by somebody named Crystal Morgan. So I'm like, who the heck is Crystal Morgan? Crystal Morgan is a lawyer for Unite the People, which provides legal services to incarcerated people. When I read that, I said they done ran through his money. Jose Baez ain't getting no more money, so he's out. She appeared in court. This is, again, this is the article according to Megan Cunif. She appeared in court on Thursday with attorney Michael Raymond Hayden, who's also with Unite the People. Hayden since March 2022, and Morgan has been a licensed attorney in California since February 2021. So these individuals just 
became licensed attorneys in California. Okay, Morgan said outside the courtroom that the plans to contest the judge's bail rejection as part of her appeal for Lane's convictions and sentence. Her appeal? Where the hell is bias? So Morgan said, this is just the first step in many of the appellate uh, processes, as we all know, okay? Now, attorney Rhonda Dixon, who tried to join Lane's defense team before sentencing, also attended the hearing and joined Morgan and Hayden outside the courthouse. So this is a video. This is on her YouTube channel. I'm not going to play it. So you can go and watch this on her YouTube channel, Megan Cunip, that is. Now, a notice of appeal was filed to the second district court of appeals last month, but Morgan said in an opening brief that details Lanes's arguments won't be filed until early next year at the soonest, okay? Morgan, this Unite the People lawyer, said that she and Hayden both will represent Lanes on appeal. How? I thought Jose Bias had this in the bag. Lanes was represented at sentencing by Jose Baez of Miami, but he did receive clemency to work in California. Um, another lawyer, another person, blah, blah, blah. No, none of them, none of these people were in court on Thursday. Baez, however, indicated in an Instagram post that he's still on the case. And this is what he posted. Sending my guy much love today, even though I can't be there due to a prior commitment. I'm praying for you. Your lawyer saying I'm praying for you is wild. Prior commitment is even wilder. So you're not filing the appeal. I, I, this is all over the place. And see, this is what I, I was saying before. Tory Lanez got some savages around him, bro. And this is all the more reason why you should have just chill. Because I think Tory Lanez thought that he, you know, he has money. You know what I mean? Um, He can pay these lawyers. He got good lawyers. The, the lawyer he started out with before trial, he should have stuck with Sean Holly. He moved on to the lawyer, a lawyer's during trial, after trial, and then after sentence. It's it's too much. It's just too much. You changing, you changing lawyers like you change your draws. It's it's too much. And there's no continuity of 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 service to the client, Tory Lanes. You know, everything is like, okay, this person is gonna do this now. Well, I'm gone now. This person is on. So it's like, are these people really effectively communicating? I don't know. Not to me, it doesn't seem that way. Unite the People, right, which these two lawyers uh, are associated with, is a registered nonprofit that McDowell said provides affordable services, which he's not a client that needs that, referring to Tory Lanes. McDowell said that Lanes was disproportionately sentenced and Unite the People fights for people who are disproportionately sentenced. Lanes is on the Unite the People board of directors and has donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to cover the organization's payroll and to pay for legal fees for inmates and their families. So how can any of these lawyers who work for Unite the People represent Tory Lanez? Is this not a conflict of interest? If he is on the board of trustees of the organization who hired the lawyers that are representing him now, is that not a conflict of interest? So because he has donated, which is great, he's donated to this not-for-profit organization, but they put him on the board of trustees. It sounds to me like these lawyers are hightailing it out of there because the money is drying up, even though they're saying that Tory Lanez doesn't need any financial assistance. And they're taking on his case because he's been disproportionately sentenced. That's Baez's job, is it not? This is all wild. This is all wild. So the judge basically denied his, uh, his bond. Um, one of his lawyers emphasized that Lane still has an active work visa and his immigration status has changed because his wife and his child are both U.S. citizens. I said yesterday that it was reported that he recently married the mother of his son. Um, hmm. So now his immigration status has changed, right? Here's the thing. He married her after he was sentenced right? Well, we don't know. I don't know if you back. I don't know that that it, the immigration laws, 
they're subject to change overnight and you won't even know. So I, I don't know. So I guess he's not face. They're trying to make it seem as though he's not facing deportation. Right. But. I don't know, man. The judge basically said that he's aware of all of his, you know, accolades. You know, um, he knows that he tours. He never violated when he was on house arrest. He never violated the terms of his house arrest. He showed up to court, yada, yada. Um, he actually assaulted August Alsina while he was on the bracelet. And the judge is saying that he did not take that into consideration when he was sentencing him. This judge has shown Tory Lanez a lot of grace, a lot of of grace and a lot of people were getting frustrated throughout the process because they were saying that this 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 judge is giving him too much um too much grace but in my opinion it looks as though to me it looks as though i'm going to give him every opportunity he can exercise any of the legal rights any of his legal rights so that in the event he tries to say that i didn't give him an opportunity he can't say that you know, they tried to get the judge removed from the case. They tried to get a completely different judge saying that this judge was discriminating against Tory, being biased. There were errors in the in the trial, because remember, Baez was not the trial lawyer, his lawyer during trial. The judge said, look, there were no errors and everything is fine. Judge ended up being the same judge that sentenced him. Lord have mercy. His legal team. I don't they're not they're not for him. I, not from what I've witnessed and what I've been observing and, and paying attention to doesn't seem like they're for him. It, it doesn't. And they're getting paid. That's wild to me. OK, so basically this article just goes on to say that, you know, Megan Cunef goes on to say that she knows that everybody, you know, all of the hip hop blogs. She said the hip hop blogs are all over this tea that, you know, he insulted her, called her googly eyed bee. Um, she said that this is basically going to be the rage all the weekend. She said it's not the first time that he's mentioned me. She stated that his Instagram Instagram account posted a story in July instructing readers not to believe anything that she reports. And the post read, please disregard anything Megan Cunif reports on Tory Lanez. Her objective perspective narrative has always been negative and extremely biased towards him. If there is an update on Tory, it will come from this page first if it doesn't come from this page it's not real so i mean i thought that that was stupid too she is not a officer of the law she is a journalist megan cuniff is the least of tory lanes's worries and if you're gonna call somebody bias then rebuttal what it is that they are reporting telling people don't listen to megan cuniff because she's biased how is she biased? You know, when he posted this, I was like, why is he worrying about Megan Cunif? She is a journalist, an independent journalist at that. She's not a lawyer. She ain't the DA. She ain't the prosecutor. And then Tory tried to get the, 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 he basically called the prosecution saying that they were, you know, lying on him. The head of the DA's office, he wanted him removed. His lawyer screwed him over. I, and, I, and I know a lot of you are probably going to say Tory Lanez deserves this, blah, blah, blah. His lawyers royally screwed him over, in my opinion. So I guess we'll be hearing about any updates and when he'll be transported. As far as the appeals process goes, I'm going to be honest with you. Anything is possible. I wholeheartedly believe that anything is possible. But I do feel that he does not have a strong case as it pertains to uh, uh you know getting this conviction overturned because of all of the shenanigans that transpired before the trial during the trial after the trial after the conviction and even during and after the sentencing so that's why i think the judge is keeping a cool head and giving tory lanes every opportunity to exercise you know whatever he was whatever he wants you know yeah sure we'll have a bail hearing after you've after i sentence you to 10 years sure you're appealing this trying to overturn this conviction that's fine you want to have a bail hearing okay denied next and like i said is, he doesn't have a strong case in my opinion from what i have been um researching reading uh and paying attention to he doesn't have a strong case as it pertains to the to the appeal he doesn't um and jose that jose baez and even the lawyer that he had during trial 
I hope he realizes, I hope Tory Lanez realizes that people can tell you that they support you. They can amp you up. They'll amp, People will amp you up and hype you up to lose everything. People will buy your music. People will buy tickets to your shows. They will repost you. They will hashtag free Tory. They will buy t-shirts that say free Tory. But what Tory Lanez needs to understand that everybody who claims that they are a quote unquote supporter doesn't mean that they wish you well. I'm interested to know all of the entertainers who have wealth, financial wealth, who were support, seemingly supporting Tory Lanez, saying free Tory and Tory's an innocent man. Where are all of these? Are these individuals helping him financially? Why doesn't he have better legal representation? That's just a question that I want to ask. Because again, people will, yeah, yeah, I got your back. Yeah, yeah, ride or die. Woo, woo, woo. And then when you lose everything, they get radio silent. And this is exactly what I said would possibly happen. Tory Lanez better pay attention to who is in his corner and who is not. And he also better learn to listen to wise counsel. Because I, I'm, I'm almost pretty sure that maybe one, maybe two people advise him against doing some of the things that he has done up until this point. And maybe he has a lot of more people around him that encourage the stupid ish. Cause where they at? And no, we may not see everybody. I'm pretty sure there's people behind the scenes holding it down, but you know who lost big time in this situation? Your son. Unfortunately, your son lost big time. So I don't know. I'm wishing him all the best. I, I said before that I didn't expect him to get 10 years. I know that he was facing 22. Prosecution wanted to hit him with 13. Judge ended up giving him 10. I thought that he'd probably get like five years and maybe be out in two and a half, three. I wasn't expecting, you know, 10. But anything is possible. There's a possibility that he may, he may, the pill may go very well and he may be out. But I hope that he is paying attention. You got you have you got a lot to lose and you lost a lot. Are people going to give a f about your music, which is your bread and butter, when you get out of jail? That's another thing you got to worry about too. Some ish ain't worth it, bro. He's a very talented artist, absolutely talented artist. And I hope he watches the company he keeps and I hope he really I hope he's really thinking and paying attention and not really focusing on, on all the social media hype because it's all smoke and mirrors. Trust me, by Christmas, every most people will have moved on and won't even probably won't even give you an update on Tory Lanez. That's all I got. Y'all drop down in the comments and share your thoughts. I love you for watching. Talk to you later.